Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ford Era. And uh, right now we are heading up to Saudi Daisy, Tennessee. Gonna take the expedition and uh, we are going to finally go finish emptying out inside of the warehouse and give you guys an update on everything that's left there at the Saudi Daisy collection. So now I got about a 12 hour ride and enjoy the montages. All right, everybody, we're over here, Saudi Daisy, Tennessee, and uh, if you guys remember, all of this used to be trucks, and all of that, and these aren't mine. We kept the Dodges. That's mine, it's still a bunch of stuff. Like, there's some parts outside, but why we're here is inside. We are going to be emptying out everything that was inside the building. I'm either gonna be putting it in my trailer to take home or we're gonna sell it. And uh, that's what we're gonna be up to. So right now, we're gonna be moving a couple right. things out of the way. So we'll see you after. All right guys, so we've been cleaning over here for the last couple hours. Started getting some stuff out. Here's our junk pile. And uh, we start seeing the floor in a lot of places, which is really nice. This whole area is now cleared. And uh, we're working on clearing this area. So we can start seeing a lot more. And uh, there's a little update. Enjoy some more montages. All right guys, so uh, now you just saw me wash this truck up. I actually didn't buy this truck yet, but I'm actually gonna be trying to. Uh, Brett, the original seller, doesn't really wanna sell it. He's got a lot of emotional attachment to it, but I really like it, so that's why I was like, hey, let me wash it so I get a really good look at it. I mean, look at how nice this thing is. 
paint's perfect on it. It's got a little, got hit right here, but I have this trim. And, uh, and the body is just really nice. The interior is beautiful. And it's got 81,000 original miles. Super cool truck. What I think makes this really cool is that it's a super cab, short bed, racetrack trim, but it's an F-250 two-wheel drive, eight lug. You don't see that too often. And then let me show you guys what we've been up to, or actually what I've been up to in here. So that was parked right there. So I've been moving stuff, unpacked boxes full of parts. Here are all the door panels. And there's a bunch of other stuff. I already started packing. All of these is like hubcaps, lug nuts, more hubcaps, center caps. Got a bunch of those, more random parts. And then got all of this stuff, steering columns and dashboards and wheels. And now I gotta do all the stuff up there and all these shelves and then there's just parts everywhere scattered so what i'm gonna do is uh keep showing you guys time lapses and uh enjoy All right guys, so just uh, finished with the last load up here, nice and clean. And then I actually sold back all the parts that are on there, all of them uh, the original seller wanted. And uh, yeah, it's been so far so good. Got a lot of really nice Densite core supports, bunch of the other parts, everything's just staging. We just wanted everything on the ground and uh, then we're going to call it a day for today, day two. So we'll see you in the morning. What is up everybody? So right now it is Thursday at 6.17 p.m. and I am 99% moved out of this warehouse. Look at this. I'm gonna overlay the original clip of when we walked in here. Then now, how it is. So I decided on uh, selling back all the stuff on these shelves and up there so I didn't have to move it. 
Um, but I mean, everything's done. All the parts that were here, everything's been picked up and organized, packed up, everything upstairs, everything all over. It's pretty surreal. Been uh, four or five months coming here, packing up, dealing with all this, and it's like all these emotions coming through that this is probably one of the last times I'm gonna be up here. So we packed up two trailers. This is my trailer that's going back to Miami. Uh, these were all stuff that I needed. Got a couple hoods, core supports, fenders, etc. And then this trailer is all the parts that are going to go get sold. We got five hoods, we got doors and doors and parts. And I mean, this thing is loaded. I'm so ecstatic that everything fit how it did. And we got vent windows, door panels, all the trim, everything. Everything's in here and it looks great. So, uh, I'm not 100% sure of what the next step is. I'm going to be uh, probably going to go to Supernats, which is in two weeks in Sevierville, Tennessee. If you guys aren't familiar with that show, it's the F100 Super Nationals. Uh, it's put on by the Blackwell brothers. Uh, I'm most likely gonna go there. I'm gonna set up like a big swap meet, have all these parts for sale, might even bring trucks for sale. Uh, and then the weekend after that, I'm gonna be going to Bowling Green for Holly Ford Fest. Um, so, I'll see you guys at either of those events. Uh, if you want, go to, uh, I think it's f100supernats.com and the other one is fordfest.com. And right now this video is not over, but I'm gonna hit the road. I've got a 13 hour drive home. So uh, we'll see you when we start hitting the road. I'm blowing up the expedition currently um, but I need to get off the highway so uh, don't know if you guys hear this but this is what's going on all right guys so I coasted it off the side of the road or the highway and I'm over here on the side of the road and this road ranger just came by and uh, he I think is gonna give me a tow over to the gas station, which is right over there. So yeah, uh, basically this thing is like full on, it was overheating, a uh, bunch of check engine lights came on, but out of nowhere, uh, and then it shut itself off. So I don't know, we're gonna tow it over and I've got some friends hopefully gonna come help me. bunch of oil it's probably culprit this wheel is full of oil watch out the right answer right there diagnosis all right and he just got me all unloaded and now we are gonna wait we got Larry from Kilburn Customs and he is coming to save us so he's gonna bring a trailer and an extra truck so we can uh, get back to his place and then I'll update you guys when that happens. To the rescue. What's up, bro? You need to buy a brand new truck. Is what you're... We just made it back over here to Larry's place. Gonna go look at that thing soon. All right, guys, so I ended up renting a U-Haul and uh, gonna head home. Gonna leave the expedition here at Larry's place and uh, that's it so heading home all right guys so just made it back and uh, I didn't really take any video unloading but got all the stuff from the trailers unloaded here in here and a bunch of other stuff you guys might have just seen some sneak peeks in the background but for now this video is over i'm going to go to sleep i've been driving i'm so tired um 
smash the like button, drop a comment below, just say something. Let me know what you thought was cool. If you need any parts, you can shoot me an email, sl at fordera.com. Um, or you can comment below, let me know what parts you need. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Make sure to uh, check out fordfest.com and F100 Supernats. If you guys aren't going to those events, I would love to see you out there and we will see you in the next video.